Could I have made a mistake? No. It is the others who are wrong. With my strategy, you are invincible.
precious you look with your hair out of your face. This form is temporary, Aphrodite. It's just that if one wants to be taken seriously, one must look the part. Looks don't do that. The mind does. Of course, of course. Your mind specifically can accomplish wonders, the big old thing. Well, thanks. But the face is the window to the soul or something. If you feel powerful, you are powerful. Yes, that's true. Let me teach you to braid your hair. It will change your life. That can be fun. Perfect. Then we're getting Hephaestus to invent the lawnmower so we can tackle those brows. You got it? My essence? Just like we planned. Are you ready? I... I think so. Wise Athena, gods and mortals will work as one. With your guidance, leading us all. Although, you could have been quicker about it, honestly. And those wings you're wearing, they're a safety hazard. Daedalus' designs are shoddy and ill-conceived. And while we're talking about shoddy and ill-conceived, you, Hermes... Oh, here we go. She's always got something to say. Oh, Athena! Glad you're back. But maybe... uh... <sighs> yes. Maybe it's time for me to be more judicious with all these judgments. You know, I really admire you. You're critical, but you're also wise. Most of the time. Thank you, Phoenix. And together, we'll begin on a new wise plan. But, um, we can still punch Typhon in the face, right? Phoenix learned that being critical, judgmental, even stubborn, is not always a flaw. It can give one the surety needed to refuse bad counsel. Maybe I should have listened to Athena more often, rather than trying to be right all the time. Perhaps the great Zeus is fallible after all. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. My judgments are all pretty great. You... you chained me to a rock! An eagle pecks out my liver every single day! <laughs> I know. We should make a plan to face Typhon head-on. Let us know when you're done attacking him from the shadows. Okay, now that we're all here, let's do this. We must be cautious in our approach against Typhon. Cautious? We should sharpen our blades, storm his cave, and defile his manhood. Oh, baby. I'm right here. I cannot handle your outbursts anymore. I'm pregnant with Aris's baby, and you can't stop us. Wait until I tell my therapist about this. She'll have my back. 
mark my words. <laughs> of course she has your back. It's Echo. She just repeats what you're saying. At least Echo listens to me. You've got to be kidding me. What would Zeus think of this mess you made, Ares? Mess I made? You just have it out for Ares because he actually takes off his helmet once in a while. That explains the brain damage. Yes. Embrace your dark side, Athena. I can feel a poem coming on. You're such a creep, Hephaestus. Only I can talk to my husband like that, you bloodless harpy. <laughs> oh, so you're defending the blacksmith now? Enough! I'm here, Olympians, and I have a plan. The hero! What, little bro? Thought you'd lost me again? No chance. If I may, Hephaestus, pardon a mortal like me for butting in, you made a set of chains big enough to bind Typhon. They're up on Zeus's mountain. Am I right? Yes, you are. But Typhon... I can sneak up there without alerting Typhon and steal them. Those chains will never hold him. He'll break free. I just need a drop of blood from each of you, and I'll combine that with nectar from Olympus and coat the chains. Problem solved. He's right. That would work. Allow me. Simply extend your hands. I didn't even feel him do it. He's that good. I can't thank you enough. I'll return when the deed's done. What about me? I thought I was coming with you on the mountain. It's gotten way worse out there. Do you know how responsible I'd feel if something happened to you? I'll be fine. You said we'd do it together. Let's not argue, little bro. Stay here. Gather weapons in case I fail. But I shall not fail. <sighs> that was your brother? Yes. That confident smile. That assertiveness. The way he already knew where my chains are stored. I know, I know. I, I hate, hate him. He is the worst. He... he is? How did you ever live with that? He's so annoying. What a suck-up. If I wanted to be talked down to, I'd visit our father. Hey! You're not just going to let him walk all over you like that. Yes, he's going to fulfill the prophecy. Don't worry. Where's that jealousy I saw at my fortress? You want this glory? Seize it! You really think that prophecy isn't about you? Where's the stubborn phoenix who made me listen? What about your pride? You come first. Forget being nice. Avoiding conflict isn't worth it. The pain makes you stronger. I know for a fact that prophecy is yours. You've already fulfilled most of it. What do you want? To be a hero. Then you know what you have to do. Beat the Giron to the top of that mountain. That's right. And we're going to help you. I'll give you a big head start by summoning a storm to blast away the ice blocking the path up the mountain. Since when can you do that? Since Zeus let me borrow a storm to wreck the Greek fleet after the Trojan War. Favorite status comes in handy. <laughs> All I ever got was empty promises. At least you didn't get thrown off a mountain. You think that's bad? Zeus forced me to marry you! None of you want to be his favorite, trust me. Zeus is only trying to make up for the fact that he murdered my mother. The... They're all right. I'm a terrible father. Finally! We have a winner! Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? <laughs>